breaking, 24 hours after White House lockdown, Van Ram's front gate. Authorities released chilling plot behind it by Amanda Shea for FreedomDaily.com. Tensions towards President Donald Trump have been escalating across the country over the past week since the Florida school shooting, which the left immediately came out blaming the president for targeting all their rage and fear towards him for his support of the Second Amendment and insistence that this tragedy was caused by a mental health issue has been their latest tactic at taking him down. With a rise in anger and misguided rage comes an increased uh, threat level, which uh, we're seeing unfold around the White House after Secret Service made an especially alarming discovery. There has been no shortage of White House lockdowns since Trump has t- uh, been in office caused by mysterious cars parked where they don't belong against the front gate or suspicious packages found in the same area. Now, 24 hours uh, after another car left uh, at the front gate caused the roads around the White House to be sealed off and the entire area evacuated. A van intentional intentionally ran the fence in that area. President Trump was inside the White House at the time of the vehicular attack. The driver is in custody and authorities have uh, released what's behind these threats and today's attack. USA Today reports on uh, today's international ambush on the White House. The U.S. Secret Service has arrested a woman who authorities say deliberately drove her car into a security barrier uh, near the White House uh, Friday around 3.30 p.m. while President Trump was inside. The White House was on lockdown for about a half an hour. No shots were fired and Trump, uh, who had a news conference planned with Australia Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, Uh, was never in danger, according to the Secret Service. Turnbull was uh, also in the White House when the lockdown was initiated and left around 4 p.m. The woman detained by the Secret Service is suspected to have intentionally crashed her vehicle into a barricade along the perimeter of the White House, an official with knowledge of the matter said with the suspect in custody, who was reportedly in a different vehicle today than that which was found yesterday and ultimately cleared of an explosive threat, authorities were able to determine through questioning what caused this attack. The reason was the left's worst nightmare, and it's the common denominator in shooting attacks, including the recent Florida shooting and other senseless ambushes. Law enforcement sources told CNN she appeared to have mental health issues and is known to the Secret Service, according to the Daily Mail. The white vehicle remained at the scene afterwards with its rear windshield smashed. Its license plate was from Tennessee. The woman's condition is not known, but police say no law enforcement officials were hurt. NBC News said that the woman's name was not immediately released. There's no word if or when that will happen. However, it's become evidently clear within the past week that mental health is a major issue in America, leading to senseless attacks that could perhaps be prevented if the attention wasn't misguided on gun control as the cause. At at the root of all of these uh, ambushes, threats, against our president or innocent citizens calls for assassination and more senseless mass assaults as a person suffering unaddressed uh, mental illness. The left will not blame the van for attacking the White House today. It was the mentally ill person driving it who did it. Is this because we can't ban vans using their gun control argument after the uh, Florida shooting last week? They should be uh, pressing for control on cars and tools of homicide. After all, this has been terrorists' late, uh, latest tool in an attack. They won't argue that this time, since it doesn't fit their narrative and the target was President Trump, who liberals dislike anyway and often speak freely about assassinating. 
every threat that's caused uh, the White House to go on lockdown in a little over a year has been from a deranged liberal who feels empowered to do these terroristic things. The left perpetuates hate against our president and conservative citizens and drives mentally ill people to do horrible things or at least threaten or attempt uh, them. Uh, maybe the, there needs to be control based on liberalism. The numerous security breaches at the White House since the Trumps have lived there is not because of him. It's due to the instability that Democrats instill in their liberal followers who are more than willing to do their dirty work. It began with a series of fence jumpers then countless mystery packages found on the property. Now it's escalated to people ramming barriers with their cars. One can't help but wonder if all these failed attempts or test runs for a bigger uh, event than uh, homegrown terrorists or others are preparing for to uh, see what they could successfully get away with. Uh, it is uh, disturbing, you know, just one day later. I mean, this is crazy. Unbelievable. They, I don't know what to say. It doesn't seem like uh, the, what, they, they don't show the clear picture of the gate, you know, uh, to see here. They just show uh, half of it. W I don't know. The stop sign, I see the stop sign there. So why wasn't there a gate in the front of that, right? Why would she ram it into the stop sign only? Who knows today? They're all nuts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.